Hey there, guys and gals, all you Hepcats, cool kittens. This is Johnny with Comic Extravaganza Live. And we are coming to you live right now on uh, graphicpolicy.com. Here, uh, it's a Thursday afternoon, not our regular Sunday time. And we're not in the studio. I'm actually sitting at the desk in the Houdini room at the uh, broadcast studio, the podcast studio. And... Um, you see the light coming in across my uh, shoulder from the uh, window, and uh, we're going to hope that's not going to be too much of a distraction. But we tried to go live Sunday night and talk about the Con Survival Kit. And um, we had some technical problems, some technical difficulties. And as a result, we did not get to cover that con survival kit and so on the heels of mid-south con which is coming up this weekend i'll be performing as big daddy cool johnny della Rocca, swinging with the bombshell kittens on the saturday night masquerade and i'll also be doing some um, panels on saturday saturday morning and afternoon but i wanted to talk about your survival kit for a convention. A lot of you don't know this, but you know, I've always been kind of a survival buff. And in the survival world, people have what they call bug out bags. And I'm not a prepper or whatnot, but I do have our own bug out bag for each person in the family. And basically all it is is enough rations and gear uh, supplies to help you weather an emergency of three to five days. It's designed to keep you safe, warm, and fed. Safe, dry, and fed for three to five days in an emergency situation. Like fire, flood, um, earthquake, uh, something that causes you to have to leave. Military invasion, aliens attacking, whatever, you know? Um, and it occurred to me that a convention can, in a lot of ways, be very similar to an emergency situation. And so, when I was thinking about what I take to a convention and what's kind of essential, I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys a little bit about my con survival kit. Now, I've got just a... Uh, which way am I going here? A standard backpack. Now, you don't have to use a backpack. You can use a duffel bag, a, a shoulder sling, whatever you want. It's it's needs to be comfortable for you, but it's got to be big enough to hold everything you need. Now, I'm going to go through a con survival pack assuming that you don't have a hotel room. I'm not saying that People do this, but you might not have a hotel room. You're either hoping to crash with someone or you're going to plan on staying awake all two or three days. And so you won't have to get a room. You don't want to spend the money or you don't have the money. Or you're a miser like me and you sleep in your car. I've done it. I admit it. I'm not doing that at Mid-South Con. I do have a room, not at the Con Hotel, because I am a miser. But uh, I do have a place to stay. But you might need some supplies with you while you're there, if you don't have a room. This is particularly uh, helpful as well for exhibitors. For people who are on the vendor floor, it's really an emergency situation. So, let's talk about what goes in the pack. All right? So, some of these things you're going to scratch your head and go, John, really? And I'm going to say, yeah, really. Um, first of all, let's talk about the most important thing at a con. We're just going to get this out of the way. There are three, the three most important words at a con are soap and water. Especially you guys, just because you're at a convention, there's no excuse not to observe good hygiene and to be clean 
And being clean does not mean spraying axe all over the place and flooding your body with axe. So I'm packing my Con survival kit right now for Mid South Con. So we'll go through what's going to be in it, starting with, and I'm reaching down here, hygiene. So I put everything in individual plastic bags. Couple of things here deodorant. Men and women need deodorant. This is a travel size deodorant. I was at a con one time where a chick. Man, she was so foul. I couldn't even be in the same room with her. So, deodorant. Soap. Get a bar of soap. It's not expensive, guys. Just get a bar of soap. Yes, the hotel will have some. You might borrow some. Um, shaving cream and a razor. I, yes, I have the goatee, but I can't go a day without shaving. I just can't. And so, um, I, I'm going to say this. Girls don't like scraggly, like unkempt guys. Men, shave the shave your face. Keep it looking neat. If you have facial hair, at least keep it looking neat. Um, don't make it look like you haven't shaved. Um, and earplugs. This is a pack of Max Pillow Soft earplugs. Um, I discovered these when I was a kid. Because I had problems with my ears when I would swim. And these are silicon uh, earplugs. I'll hold them up here. And they, they come in this, this packet. They just fit inside your ear. They cover the entire ear. You can't hear a thing. Now why is that important? Because at some point you are going to want to get sleep. And you are going to want to block out sound. Or you might use them like I do when you go swimming to keep water out of your ears. Because... I have trouble with my ears, but trust me, even if you have a room, you're going to get paired at some point with someone who snores like a dinosaur, and you're going to wish you had some earplugs. Just get them. They're cheap, um, easy to find Walgreens. So those go in my con survival bag. Also, part of hygiene, toothpaste and toothbrush. Clean your teeth. Add to that some mouthwash. Keep your mouth clean. It's Guys, it's just important. It's important to get sleep, it's important to eat, and it's important to be clean at a con. Um, I also include a travel uh, shampoo. Because I... Uh, I might decide that I want to wash my hair. <gasps> what a novel idea. And look, I don't even really have hair. I do. It's just shaved. But uh, I carry that shampoo because that uh, acts as, you know, face, facial wash, body wash, whatnot. And you don't have to, um, you don't have to have a shower or a bathtub. Even if you're at a place where all you got is the, uh, the sink, you can go into the restroom you can use the shampoo, wash your hair in the sink. I used to do it all the time when I was traveling in college. And, um, you know, it's kind of hard to get under the spigot. So I found this little uh, device. This is actually a cup. And it expands like that. So you've got this cup that you can use to wash your hair or drink from whatever. Um, and it doesn't take up any room in your bag because it folds up flat it collapses how cool is that now this particular cup also comes with a lid that can hold um, vitamins medication I carry B12 with me B12 vitamin C and my allergy medication on the other side it's just a cool thing so for um, for hygiene and wellness, make sure you take some uh, vitamin C, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, any of that stuff. So while we're talking about hygiene, take along some Advil, some Tylenol, some pain reliever, um, hand sanitizer.
This is a con survival must have. Germs are going all over the place at con. You don't want to have what they call con crud. So take some hand sanitizer, just use it throughout the day, you'll be good. I also carry um, some uh, lip balm. Uh, your lips get chapped, you're talking all day, and uh, this is uh, some, uh, this is uh, actually uh, SPF 30 lip balm. So it moisturizes and protects against the sun. When are you going to be out in the sun, John? Well, you know, I might want to go out to the pool. I might be standing in line outside at, at a con like San Diego or at Dragon Con where they, uh, you know, they're huge mega cons and, and they take up the entire city. So sunscreen, chapstick, good idea. And I do have um, a little uh, stick of sunscreen in here as well. So uh, sunscreen stick for my face. Important survival tips. Uh, you want to make sure, moving away from hygiene, that you take um, all of your extra chargers and cables. Uh, I've got some extra chargers here, and this is actually a really cool thing. You can pick these up at like Walgreens or, or Walmart. It's actually battery backup for my phone. Now, I, I've got my charger cord sitting over here. But uh, that all goes, again, in a little baggie with my earbuds. I want to keep all of my tech stuff together, and I want to keep it waterproof and dry. So um, I want to keep it in one place. That way I'm not digging around for it later on, taking, throwing stuff out of my bag, trying to find it. So tech stuff in a plastic bag, that goes in my kit. Um... All right, so let's talk about staying dry and staying warm. Again, you might find yourself at a con where it's multiple buildings, there are things going on outside. You don't want to be caught in the rain unprepared. Now, it's hard to carry an umbrella. It takes up too much room. It's another thing to carry. So instead, I just carry an emergency poncho. Look, look, it's paper thin. doesn't take up any room. If I start to get, if it starts pouring down rain, I've got that. I also carry along with me, and this is in my um, emergency bug out bag uh, for natural disasters and whatnot, uh, what they call an emergency blanket. This is just, um, it's, it's space age material, metallic material, that believe it or not, it's, it's paper thin. But it keeps you warm. Where would this come in handy? Aforementioned um, standing in line outside a building um, where the temperature is dropping. And uh, this will help conserve heat, keep you warm and dry. And it doesn't take up any room. So there's no reason not to carry that. All right. So what else do we have here? Um, let's talk food. At a con... You're usually at a hotel or a convention center, and food is either scarce or expensive or both. I hate paying $7 for a hot dog. So I'm going to carry uh, some food with me in my pack throughout the day. Um, here, I'm going to grab it out of this other bag. Um, first of all, I carry uh, protein. You need protein throughout the day. So, um, let's see, you could get um, some beef jerky or, um, or um, protein bars here. I've got uh, pure protein bar. Um, Cliff bars are one of my favorite. I love these. These are just great to have, but you could, you could have uh, any kind of granola bar, sun-kissed, uh, sun whatever thing. Um, you want that to go in the front pouch or an easily accessible pouch in your pack because you're going to be going to that the most. So um, you also want to take some sugar with you, something sweet because your blood sugar can drop and you're going to get a taste for My favorite is licorice, in this case strawberry twists from 
Walgreens. I love this brand. Nice. Strawberry Twist. So if you see me at a con, I'll always have those with me, along with some, um, uh, what do you call it? Beef jerky. Some more licorice. This is strawberry licorice from a, a local uh, company that makes it. Love it. Love it. But, let's talk meals. When I go to a con, I'm going to take a bunch of stuff to snack on through the day. But I also want to make sure that I'm getting at least, at the, the very minimum, one solid meal a day. And if you don't want to spend the money at the cafeteria or at the, lo at the restaurant in the hotel, you know, that's, that's cool. I get that. And so, in survival circles, I'm looking for something here. Um, something else here. In survival circles, there's a thing called MREs. Meals ready to eat. And basically what it is, it's, a, it's exactly that. It's um, a prepackaged meal that you just peel open and eat. Well, it used to be you could get these really inexpensively. And over the last few years, they've gotten pretty expensive. And so I found a really cheap, good alternative. And um, I'm missing something here, guys. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not what I did either. Hmm. Hmm. Here it is. All right. So I found an inexpensive alternative to the MREs. They're called either Completes or Velveeta has one called Cheesy Bowls. Hormel does Completes. There are a couple other ones. These are vacuum packed, dry boxed, complete meals. They don't have to be cooked. They're fully cooked. You can heat them up. The directions say to heat them for 60 seconds. But you don't have to. All you got to do is open it up and eat. Now, you may need... A fork and a spoon. I found this awesome product at the uh, camping store. It's just called uh, Go uh, Duo uh, Duo Bites, I think is what it's called, and it's a fork and spoon combo that nests together, and um, you know doesn't take up any room. As a matter of fact, it can fit right inside the box, and you're you're good to go. I'm going to be showing you another tool that I always carry that can take the place of that. So, I take one of these for every day that I'm going to be at the con. Again, they don't take up very much room. You can stack them in your kit. And if you do have a hotel room, just leave them in the room. You don't have to carry them around with you. But um, if you don't, that's a great alternative to spending a lot of money at the uh, restaurant. And that can just go right in your pack. All right. So we've talked hygiene. One of the things I miss when we were talking hygiene is um, take a packet of wet ones. Guys, girls, you go in the bathroom, you go in a stall, you take off your shirt. Just use it to keep yourself clean. Men especially. I I'm going to tell you guys a secret. Can I tell you a secret, guys? No woman likes a stinky, dirty man. Listen, you guys have been socially awkward your entire lives. Now you're at a place with your people. And the girls are your people. They're into the things you like. But I don't care how much a girl is into geeky stuff that you like. She's not going to be into you if you smell like three locker rooms put together. It's not going to happen for you. Wash your hair. Wash your skin. Brush your teeth. Use deodorant. Be I can't press this enough. And guys, this is especially guys. I don't see it a lot with girls. Guys, wear clean clothes. Shocker. That shouldn't be a surprise. Wear clean clothes that fit. If you want to be noticed by the opposite sex, wear clothes that fit you. Not oversized clothes, not clothes that are too small. Just wear clothes that fit. And make sure they're clean. Clean. 
Um, as a matter of fact, I carry with me, even, even if I'm staying at the hotel, an extra shirt. A spare shirt is in the backpack at all times. Why? Because you never know what might happen. You can get hit by mustard in the con suite. You could get you know, rained on and you're not, you don't have your poncho, whatever. Who knows? I always carry at least a change of a shirt with me at all times. Now, if I'm going in for just one day or I'm not getting a hotel room uh, or I'm staying, you know, uh, I, I'll, I'll uh, actually take a, a change of shirt, underwear, and socks. Wear clean pants. Wear jeans that you can keep clean. I don't take an extra pair of pants. That's too much. But if you make sure your jeans or your khakis or whatever you're wearing are clean to begin with, when you get there, you can probably get away without an extra pair of pants. But if you're going to be there more than one day, you got to have a change of underwear and a change of socks. You have to do it. Even if you're not... If, if you're going to stay up all night and not get a room, that's fine. Have a pair of underwear to change into in the bathroom. Just do it. It, it, it. There's no reason not to. Unless you're just being stubborn. Uh, guys, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to reiterate it. If you want to get... If you want to hook up with a geeky girl at a con, be clean. Wash your hair. Wash your face. Wash your body. Brush your teeth. Wear clean clothes, clothes that fit. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that that you will make a connection. All right, we're getting down to the uh, last few items here. Um, I always take a first aid kit, band-aids, gauze, um, and tape. Why? You never know what's going to happen, but you're going to be spending a lot of time on your feet, and you might get blisters, you might get cuts, Paper cuts are common, and you may think, well, this is a paper cut. A paper cut can get infected. You want some uh, antibiotic with you, so I just take a small uh, first aid kit. I also carry with me a small sewing kit. Um, a small sewing kit for um, my clothing repair emergencies. As a performer, it's important, um, but uh, you never know when that needle and thread might come in handy with a friend of yours who's maybe a cosplayer that needs a touch-up repair, instant repair, they can't get to their room or go off-site or whatnot, you can be the hero with a mini sewing kit. And it doesn't, again, doesn't take up any room hardly. All of these things are small, compact, designed to be lightweight and not take up a lot of room. All right, down to the last, last few things here. Oh, I also take Icy Hot. I gotta have it. Uh, your muscles are going to get sore. Your back's going to get sore. Shoulders. Icy Hot does wonders. Take a game. A pocket game. Your favorite pocket game. Something like a card game. Maybe maybe for me it's Uno. Um, or um, my favorite pocket game is Pass the Pigs. Have you ever seen this before? This is, this is pretty funny. I love this. Um, these little pigs actually act as dice. And you roll two of them, and depending on how they land, like that, that would be a point combination. You, you get certain points for how they land. And um, this particular kit, um, Pass the Pigs, comes with the pigs, scorecards, and two pencils inside this case. So um, this can fit in one of my side pockets, um, no problem. Always carry that with me. Because you never know when you're sitting in line or meeting someone maybe in the lobby, you know, waiting for something to happen, you can break out a quick game and, and have a lot of fun. And, you know, those roll-and-go games are great for those moments. I know in the at the con they're going to have a gaming room, and you can go sit down and do the table games, but take some pocket games. All right. I always carry, because I'm a magician, a, a deck of cards, but you should carry a deck of cards too. You never know um, when they're going to come in handy. They're universal game, universal um, uh, pastime. I use them to do magic. Maybe you have a friend who knows some magic. You can toss them your deck and uh, really put them to the test. Um, I also carry a yo-yo with me. Again, for those times in line, 
sitting around being you know waiting for something to happen you can make something happen so take a skill based toy with you uh, a yo-yo a kendama like if you don't know what a kendama is these are super cool um, and they're hard as crap but if you uh, see someone with them it's um, basically the old uh, cup and ball um, game but taken to an extreme level I'm trying to learn how to do it. I can't do it yet. But if you can do this, and I see you at Mid-South Con, you and I are going to be instant friends. Um, maybe some juggling props. Um, you know, juggling balls or your your poi. Something that... Um, I just dropped my yo-yo. Something that doesn't take up a lot of room, but you can break out at a moment's notice. And have an impromptu show. When I'm attending cons, some of the cons that I attend, they let me produce a con cabaret. And guests of the con can get up and, and do acts. Well, if you've got something with you that you're good at, a skill-based toy, juggling stuff, whatever, you can, you know, be a part of that. Or just, you know, at the after-show party, you know, break out an impromptu show. Musical instrument. Harmonica, juice harp, kazoo. Again. Impromptu musical jams can make a con a lot of fun. You don't have to be a genius player. Um, somebody's going to have a guitar. Someone's going to, you know, bring other musical instruments. Have have something you're good at and you enjoy playing in your pockets to go with it. Um, I also take lots of pens, Sharpies, and a notebook to write down notes, um, ideas, connections, whatnot. Yes, you can put them on your phone or your tablet, but here's what I found. When you put a note in a phone or a tablet, it tends to get forgotten and lost in the ether. There's something about writing notes on paper that make them more permanent. So uh, take a small notebook. I, uh, I mentioned I take a lot of Sharpies. I take a lot of pens for, you know... Uh, writing ideas down, interviews, I do magic with the Sharpie. Um, you might want to, you know, get some autographs or whatnot. All right. Um, getting real close to the end here. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, send us an email at comicstravaganza at gmail.com. So I showed you the um, nesting fork and spoon. Um, a good substitute for that is a good... Um, camp knife, pocket knife, uh, eating combo that has a spoon and a fork and a knife. Um, I am one of these guys who believes that you should always have a pocket knife on you. Um, and in a con situation, it can come in really useful, like if you buy a, a, a buy something that needs to be opened, packaging that needs to be cut. It's good to have a pocket knife. This is my personal favorite pocket knife that I carry with me. It's a, a military pocket knife. It's got uh, one, one single blade. And it's got a secondary tool. Um, this is pretty cool. It's got a bottle opener, screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, and then some uh, wrench notches. I ride a bike, so this can come in really handy when, when I'm out on a, on a bike or uh, if I rent a bike at a con, like I might in Memphis. A um, couple last things. If you have room for it, uh, take a towel, a small towel. Just, uh, you know, it's great for hot days, wipe the sweat off your brow, dry your hair, your skin in the uh, bathroom when you, you clean up. Um, duct tape. Believe it or not, this is going to become in more handy than you know. Um, this can fix... This is actually gaff tape. I use gaff tape, but duct tape is probably more available to you. It can fix clothing. It can patch your bag. It can uh, you know seal up things that need to be sealed. Um, Take along some duct, duct tape. And uh, what else? What am I missing? Am I missing anything? I am. I'm going to be up front with you guys. 
Um, one last thing you guys should take. Well, before we get to that, let's talk about keys. Um, this is a cool little device. It's called, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's got a flashlight on it. Oh, wrong way. It's got a flashlight on both ends, and it makes your key, it replaces your key ring, basically, and creates a Swiss Army knife for your keys. It's a great way to cut down on space if you uh, are carrying keys. Um, you can attach your electronic car fob to one end, um, but that uh, just goes right in your bag. All right. This is for both guys and girls. And I don't know any way to be delicate about this. Um, take some condoms. Because, let's face it, you guys might get lucky. <laughs> I Look, I, I advocate abstinence. That's my personal stance. But, you never know. And especially young single people, you're there to have a good time. You could hook up. You want to be prepared. That's all I'm saying. Look, men, guys, this is a chance for you to meet geeky girls that you relate to and that relate to you. There could be a connection there. Girls, don't count on the guys to be smart. Bring your own. One last thing, and we're done. A water bottle. Get a water bottle that you can refill. It can be any kind of water bottle, really, but something that you can refill, that you can cap off and carry water with you. Water and food are the two most essential things to have at a con. You need to keep yourself hydrated. You're going to be moving around a lot, um, doing a lot of stuff, and uh, that's important. So uh, that was a lot of stuff, I know. But believe it or not, it doesn't even take up half of the room in my backpack. I've got plenty of room for stuff that I buy at the con or, um, you know, other stuff that I want to take or get. Um, very little room taken up. Again, you can use a backpack, a duffel bag, whatever you want. Um, but that's what goes in my con bug out bag, my con survival kit. And, um, yeah, that's it. I'd love to uh, hear about yours, see pictures of yours, post them on our Facebook page at uh, Comic Extravaganza. Follow us on Twitter. Make sure you visit our sponsor, Comic Bento. You can get a mystery box of comics in your mailbox every month for less than 20 bucks, uh, at least $50 worth of comics. And uh, they're not just single issues, they're, they're graphic novels. They're, they're awesome. Awesome. MyComicBento.com. And uh, don't forget, we're doing a giveaway on Comic Extravaganza's Facebook page. We are giving away this audiobook from Graphic Audio, uh, The Ultimates. It's uh, called Against All Enemies. All you got to do to win it is go like our Facebook page, then click like, share, or make a comment. For every like, you get one entry. For every comment, you get two. For every share you get five entries. And we're going to draw 